Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. Uh, I've been discussing about alpha males and um, orangutans and alpha males of wolf packs compared to um, people in groups, men in groups in the modern day. And I was discussing one ramification of that to do with the fight or flight response in the last uh, video. And right now I'd like to talk a little about uh, the, the rising from the third dimensional awareness, the awareness of the body, to fourth dimensional awareness, awareness of the emotions and of the land of dreams, what was priorly the land of dreams. And especially with regard to men right now and the alpha male, uh, beta male context. Of groups. Um, so I've noticed a pattern that's taking place with groups. Now first I'd like to say it, as of last year, the year before, might be several years ago, the light workers all agreed that it's better to avoid groups in the ascension process. Now my feeling about this is I concur and I think that the reason is that groups glom. Groups glom together and it makes it harder to do the soul clearing of the soul wounding to clear. Uh, that is because the gloms, like the dark network portion of the duality play, tend to ratchet back and forth and carry on. And then on the astral plane, astral stories arise that are have elements in them of the soul wounding of all the members of the group. And the groups tend to repeat these semi-subconscious astral stories over and over again, adding ever more um, lurid and violent details to them uh, until they reach a kind of a fever pitch. Now, at this point, it's actually possible for acting out to occur, it could be that there's some member of the group that has the type of soul wounding that's greatly affected by a particular astral story, and that person may segue into um, what's called a fugue state, uh, which is sort of halfway between um, the third and the fourth dimensions, ratcheting around in the plane of forces there, the electromagnetic field between that divides the two, and which is also known in ages past as the veil of forgetfulness. Uh, so in that state, that, that state of actually being, uh, it's like sleepwalking, only being awake. He may, or she, may step out of the group's uh, ongoing recurrent astral stories of, of soul wounding, which some call vivid waking dreams. Uh, at one of the um, aspects of, of the ascension process, one of the symptoms of the ascension process, and then step into a higher, like, acting out state, a state of actually sleepwalking through a performance of the um, subconscious astral stories that the group itself, the, all the group members are just acting out in their, in their subconscious minds. And he, he or she might do something that in a normal waking life, mm, pre-ascension, they would never, ever have thought possible. And then wonder, wake up afterwards and wonder what happened. Of course, this is the very rare exception to the situation. Uh, generally, the, the difficulty, the glom effect difficulty with grouping during the ascension process is the annoyance of the astral stories, the uh, soul wounding astral, astral stories with negative motions attached. The exact opposite of what we're actually heading into, the co-creation of new, new reality on new earth, that with a very positively aspected emotions, you see. So...
So it's better, it's better to avoid groups if possible, and this even includes natal families unless you have small children or like that. Just try and spend a bunch of alone time and not spend much time on the social media and so forth. Uh, at work, try and maintain peace and quiet for yourself. You know, protect your energy field from uh, the constant like influx or changes that happen when, when there's grouping. So first thing is try to avoid grouping, especially strong loyalty grouping. Now, now what I've also found is that nobody wants to listen to that advice, nobody at all. Nobody sees the need for it, nobody has a precedent for it, nobody cares about that at all, okay? So, so what then happens is that they maintain their group loyalties and and stand strongly against my advice. The leader of a group, say a man, a leader of a group in modern society, has some similarities to the, uh, the dominant orangutan male in Sumatra, in a Sumatran group, or to the alpha male in a wolf group. As I was discussing in the prior video, he whether or not it's true, he feels less fearful. He feels, probably because of his endocrine mix, he feels that he's on top of everything and that his life is not in danger. And so he has not that fear for survival. The beta males and the females, um, they do have reasons to fear. The first is the first reason to fear is the alpha male in their own tribe or pack who could at any time wreak havoc on them, maybe even kill them if, if you felt like it. So they're fearful of the leader. The second thing is they're fearful of threats from the outside. Although the purpose of the leader is to help protect them from threats from the outside. so. So everyone except for the alpha male is fearful of just about everything, except in the case of, of females who are not afraid of their children, their babies that they're raising. The maternal instinct is, is there. Um, so now in the context of ascension and human natal family grouping, see the male is exhibiting a fight response to the incoming light, and the females are exhibiting a flight response. But in a larger group, say a spiritual group or an economic group, uh, business group uh, that a person is involved in, <clears throat> the leader of that group is really taking the heat and causing the trouble at the same time. Um, because in addition to the staid and true rational advice that the group is getting from the leader. On the subconscious plane, the plane of repressed emotions, the group is getting uh, uh, the soul wounding of the leader. <clears throat> this, the group is being advised regarding the soul wounding of the leader. The group itself, each individual, has soul wounding as well. When groups group together, in this dimension. It has to do with similarities of soul wounding. So there will be um, uh, there will be resonance uh, between the soul wounding of the leader and the soul wounding of each member of the group. And so and that is how the glom effect happens. Of course the group itself, what on the physical plane, is not always the group that gloms on the astral plane, and that has more to do with soul wounding. It's cross-group, um, what you might call uh, super glomming, <laughs> happens sometimes, off and on. And setting that aside to get back to the actual structure of physical groups, um, the. The alpha male is not fearful and has no reason to change. He's in a position of authority that he that has its own 
kudos and perks. Okay. He wants things to stay the same. The other members of the group are, are fearful and, and more inclined to become aware faster, aware of the other dimensions, such as the astral realm. They're moving into the fourth dimension faster than the leader. And because they're fearful, they want to know, for instance, what kind of threats the leader poses to them, how they can placate his, his, his uh, potential negative emotions. So, so they become aware faster than the dominant male, faster than the, um, the head of the group, the leader, of his soul wounding and what it demands of them on the unconscious plane. They rise to consciousness of his soul wounding, his demands of his soul wounding. And just to give you an example, if the male leader feels anger at a rage, say, as suppressed rage at women, then his subconscious prompting, say when he's asleep or maybe he has a drink of alcohol or, or like that, or just when he's drowsy, his subconscious promptings to the members of his group would have to do with raping or killing women. Uh, and the, the way that Samskara's work and soul wounding works is it, re it repeats, it ratchets around because it's, it's repressed. It's like a volleyball or um, uh, bouncing against a, a wall and back to a person over and over again. You know, it's, it, it repeats and repeats and repeats because it keeps running into the subconscious repressive mechanisms that we have, like, I will not think that, I will not feel that like that. So, so what it is is it sets up a, a, a constant subconscious din uh, when, it's, when it's activated. This will lead the group to visualizations or astral, repeating astral stories uh, to do with either raping or killing women. And uh, it, in some very rare instances, it leads uh, susceptible, more susceptible or resonant members of the group into the possibility of a fugue state that in the very rare instance might uh, cause acting out of this drama. Mostly, however, it, it will, will be seen to, to simply cause recurrent astral stories to take place along the theme of the, the soul wounding emotion of the leader of the group. They do this because they want to remain on the good side of their leader and stay out of danger from him. Because he can um, synchronize the hatred or anger of the entire group against anyone who dissents. And they do, in fact, do this. Um, so, so they want to stay out of trouble. So they want to do what he says. So if the leader of the group says kill on the subconscious emotional astral plane and the group members hear this on the subconscious or conscious uh, plane of awareness, then there's always the possibility, albeit remote, that they may follow his advice and kill. Suddenly, in this ascension context, the, the acting out occurs because they're in a group, because they're fearful of the leader. Were they to be alone in their own, like, uh, electromagnetic field only, then they could deal with their, their, wound, their soul wounding and they could get through it without acting out, and that's the danger involved, you see. The, the, leader, the leader's point of view is this. What's going on with my group? You know, this guy over here went out and tried to kill somebody. This guy over here actually tried to rape somebody. They're all my great uh, people. They never did anything like this before. What could be going on? I just have a bad group of people. 
uh, they're all they're all going but but you told me to do that right you told me to do that and this conversation is taking place in the astral plane and they he can't hear them so so the thing that clears up the karma for groups right now it has to do with physically picking up the phone or walking into the presence of a leader okay and saying to them i get from the um unconscious plane from the subconscious plane like that i get on the astral plane that that you are asking me to kill women or rape women okay or, or whatever it is kill other males you know things that are totally socially unacceptable and cause it's just the wrong thing for a leader to say right so you say that to them on the physical plane and then they say but no i don't want you to do that right and that is a conversation that changes everything the physical conversation because it brings to the leader's awareness what he didn't care to care about knowing because he's in a position of being in power and in control and it doesn't matter to him he's not the one that's going to go out and do that thing you know now now when it he rises to awareness of this he will immediately start dealing with his own subconscious issues and that's the that's the important thing to happen so even if you don't have this come you're afraid to have a conversation with the leader right it could be uh, even if you don't have this conversation with the leader you can talk to other members who are not leaders members of your group who are not leaders talk to them about what you're hearing on the astral plane from the leader talk to them about what has gone on in the past is this is this relevant to any past behavior is this something new what should you do about it you can join up with other members other followers in a group and devise a strategy to get around this 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 uh, bolus of glom effect that's happening uh, at a certain point where you're on the borderline between the third dimension and the fourth dimension more or less in the plane of forces ratcheting around through there uh, the, the veil of forgetfulness between those two this veil of forgetfulness is the cause of the fugue state that people fall into sometimes during the ascension process where they actually act out something they act out something uh, that they otherwise would never do something from their subconscious soul wounding or through the prompting the extra special prompting of the leader of a group that they belong to uh, they they act it out and when they are uh, bounce out of the fugue state within the plane of forces they don't even remember what happened they don't even know what happened um, and I think it's important to understand that that the fugue state and the acting out are only one timeline in this person's multi-temporal multi-dimensional soul field and that it can be whatever happened during that fugue state can or even with conscious memory of it can be fixed by uh, by offering the activation of light uh, to optimize these which goes like this um, spirit team optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will it's a very short but you can't change any of the words don't let your personality into the picture say it exactly as I say it spirit to team optimize timelines and dimensions for the all through free will it's like a key or a code okay if you change the key the key won't fit the lock so so acting out is not the worst of all this because we don't really know this process we don't remember this process and and we have many timelines many dimensions where no acting out at all is in, is occurring in the fifth dimension none of this is happening we are beautiful pure spirits of light love 
joy. So this is just like a hologrammatic display that's, that sh that's allowing us to experience these unusual effects, which I hope we remember after the ascension process is concluded, as it's a great soul learning experience. So, so my message here is, if you fall into this subconscious kind of fugue state situation where you're doing what the leader says because you're fearful of what would happen if you don't do what the leader says, and you act out, then don't blame yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive the leader. The leader doesn't even know anything about it, you know. And step into another timeline and dimension where none of that is happening. That's what I think. So, a little more on the topic of acting out. Sometimes the people in a group can visualize, they have only run into this a couple of times, they can visualize an event occurring so strongly that it affects the plane of forces in another person's awareness. Uh, the electromagnetic field in particular, I've noticed, because I'm EMF hypersensitive. And uh, it can actually affect the, the physical reality in, a, in another person's plane of awareness if the visualization has to do with with that person um, and it, it the the hologrammatic input the sensory input for that person may uh, seem to display that an event has occurred that's then immediately reversed in that and that they call a walkthrough a uh, walkthrough of a timeline so so what happens is there's, there's a visualization of acting out, and it seems to have occurred physically in a reality, and within an hour or so, even less time, the whole process is reversed and changed and into, merged into another timeline. Um, so I don't really, uh, the, the incidents that I know about are, are too sparse for me to, to make a definite conclusion regarding that except that others have witnessed it. They call it a walkthrough of a timeline. And uh, it's as if the timeline, with this catastrophic acting out event on it, waltzes right through your visual input, <clears throat> your whole world, your electromagnetic field, and your hologram, and walks back out again, leaving it like Pacific and non-eventful. <laughs> Which uh, is a little like the process of merging timelines where the timeline with the or optimizing timelines where the timeline with the acting out event in it the say unfortunate acting out event merges into a pacific timeline where none of that occurred and none of the consequences the social consequences occurred and this is possible to do but you have to have firmly in your own awareness the understanding that you you have the ability, you have the power to do it. It's very possible to do that ongoing. So rising into awareness of our ascension skills. <laughs>